Chris Schaefer. And I'm Brad Rhodes. And this is the Mountain State Kayak Anglers Tournament Tales web show. We're going to talk about the upcoming 2015 tournament trail and the bodies of water that we'll be fishing in 2015. So stay tuned. Let's have some fun. I'm going to take a few minutes now to tell you about Mountain State Kayak Anglers. It was founded in 2013 by Ben and Jeremy Smith. Uh, they wanted to have a kayak club dedicated to just kayaking here in West Virginia. Um, started out with eight members, and we've grown to over probably close to 70 members this year. We're really looking forward to having a good time with everybody. We got a lot of new members. Um, we're going to have an angler of the year this year and also a rookie of the year. So everybody has a chance. Heck, you may even win both. So who knows? Um, we also, we, we fish some of the best waters in West Virginia. We fish lakes, we fish rivers, we fish it all. Uh, world-class rivers. I mean, the New River is a wonderful river. We have a New River Classic on that. Everybody's going to really love that one. Be sure to make it out for that. Uh, we also are one of the very few organizations that is sanctioned to be, to qualify for the World Championships in Texas. So, you never know, you might be taking a trip to Texas by the end of the year. So, um, we're also, you know... We really want to promote good environmental stewardship. We want to give back to the community and get involved outdoors with everybody. This is a family thing. So, you know, if you, we do events with everybody. You can bring your family out. Uh, we do a float, overnight float. So, you know, be sure to come out and join us. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, hope to see you out. So I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, 2015 tournament trail. We're really excited about the bodies of water we're going to be fishing in 2015. I think the members are going to have, have a blast. Um, we really worked hard on choosing the right bodies of water this year. We have four rivers, five lakes, um, so a total of nine bodies of water. Two of those have been ranked the past two years on FLW's top 100 list of bass fisheries in the United States. So. You know, um, you're not going to be able to fish a better body of water anywhere else in West Virginia. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, we're starting off on March 21st on Elk Fork Lake. Uh, we're going to talk about that a little bit more further on in this segment. Uh, but it's a uh, smaller lake but has some big fish in it. Um, after that, we're moving on to the Coal River. We're really excited about that tournament this year. We're going to be working with the Coal River group. They did a lot on that river to clean it up and we're really excited to be partnering with them and we hope to get on some really good fish. We know some local guys down there that's joined the club and uh, they're really excited to get going. Uh, after that, we're moving on to Upper Mud River Lake. Awesome fishery. We'll probably be hitting it around the time of the spawn. Somebody's will catch a big fish out of there. Um, really good, lot, it's a lot larger lake than Elk Fork. Um, has a lot of different coves, standing timber, uh, rocky banks, really nice lake. Moving on after that, to one of my favorites, the Greenbrier River. Um, we, this is going to be on our tournament trail every single year. Great body of water. After that, we're moving on to Plum Orchard, which is going to be a really cool tournament. This, this tournament is actually going to run from midday to dark. If you've never fished Plum Orchard, you got to come out and see this. It's filled with lily pads around that time of the year. Uh, so close to dark time, somebody may hook into a big one uh, on the top water around some of those big lily pads. That's going to be an awesome tournament. Moving on to our biggest tournament of the year, the New River Classic. Well, last year we had participants come from five different states as far away as Michigan to compete in this tournament. It was a huge success. It's hosted at Ace Adventure Gear. So... Uh, a lot of the guys come out two or three days beforehand and just relax, hang out, have a good time for two or three days, and then hit the uh, New River on a Saturday. And uh, it's a great tournament. And we close the year off at Stonewall Jackson and Stoke Coal Lake for our two-day open series. And Stonewall Jackson, it's renowned in the United States as one of the best bass fisheries on the East Coast. Day two of that open is on Stoke Coal Lake. Another awesome fishery, really scenic, real big fish in that lake. So we're going to close the year off right 
Hope you come out and join us for 2015. Something new this year we're, we're putting in is challenges, online tournament challenges. Uh, it's a little something for everybody. It's free for members. As long as you fish four tournament trail uh, events, you qualify. So we're doing a lot of different things. We're doing a musky tournament. We're doing a big cat and a multi-species and bass, of course. Um, you be sure to go to the website, check out all the rules and everything for that, some identifiers you can print out. I think everybody will enjoy that. Something to do in the in the time between our tournaments because everybody looks so forward to our tournaments we have something to do in between and also to be able to get out with our friends and fish and then and have a really good time but be sure to check that out something new for 2015 it's our online challenges all right everybody now we're going to tell you about the elk fork lake it's in jackson county west virginia the 278 acre lake it looks kind of small when you pull up but there's a lot of places to fish on this lake there's a lot of structure on this lake um be sure to uh Fish the deep, deep channels. There's a lot of channels in this river, in this lake. There's a river called the Elk. What was it? Elk Creek. Elk Creek used to run down through that. That's what they made this lake out of. It's a really deep channel. Be sure to look forward. The average depth is about 10 to 22 feet. Um, Chris, have you ever fished it up there before? Yeah, I have. I've been on the lake uh, actually only one time uh, in my boat a couple of years ago, and I fished the uh, southern part of the southern end of the lake, and. Um, you know, it's, it's, like you said, it's, it's not real big, but uh, it's kind of deceiving when you pull up because you can almost see the entire lake. Actually, though, uh, acres, uh, water surface size, it's actually bigger than Woodrum. Right. So, yes. um, you know, Woodrum looks a lot bigger because it's more of a narrower, mm -hmm. longer lake, but uh, mm -hmm. this is actually a bigger lake than Woodrum Lake, uh, which was on our tournament trail last year. Yeah. And, um, you know, it, like you said, there's a... Depending on what you what you kind of what your style of fishing is, it really has it all because yes. and also every inch of this lake holds fish. There's nowhere on the lake that you're not going to find fish. There, there's so many places for fish to be on this lake. You'll find wood over here. You'll find lily pads here. You'll find a river running in here. Um, I think people is going to really have a good time trying to find fish on this lake. But also you got to remember. And the upper end of the lake is where it gets really grassy. There's a lot of grass in the upper end of the lake. Um, have you ever fished down near the, the, the dam part of the lake? No, I, I haven't fished down there. Uh, I have a friend, uh, Chad, actually, uh, that um, he fishes from the bank. Uh, and he's a bank fisherman, but he's caught some, some toads out of Elk Fork Lake standing on the bank. And uh, he fishes that stretch down uh, between the dam and the boat dock. Mm -hmm. And uh, so... Um, you know, there's fish, like you said, all over it. I have another buddy, uh, Tommy Kelly, that uh, fishes out of his boat a lot. Around the time we're going to be up there, uh, around pre-spawn, spawning time, right. and he's caught some big fish. So I was reading, I read an article that said that the vegetation on Elk Fork is the best in the state. Uh, also, I was reading in a magazine uh, that it was one of the best largemouth bass lakes in the state last year uh i haven't seen a lot of big fish caught out of it uh, i've seen some pictures i've yeah. never caught a big fish out of it uh i've caught some some little fish out of it yeah know, little tiny ones but uh, i i've fished it a few times i've really enjoyed it uh i hope they enjoy it a lot i hope they really enjoy it i, th I think uh i think there's going to be a pretty good stringer come out of there i, I really hope there is a good stringer come out of there <laughs> i it's don't cool. know if there, if there was going to be a big stringer but uh uh of course ben told me today he thinks eight inches might win it so, yeah you know it's think? gonna be cold <laughs> It's, the water's still going to be, you're probably going to be looking at mid-40s for the water temperature if we're lucky. So that's right at that pre-spawn right, right, pre yeah. stage. Yeah. So, I mean, um, you know, it, it's hard to tell. I mean, sometimes you go out there and pre-spawn and wear them out. And sometimes, it, you know, if it's still in that lower 40s area, I mean, yeah. it, it may be tough to catch. I just, I just hope, there's, I hope there's no ice. Right, yeah. <laughs> you know, there, there could be some ice if, if we don't warm up here pretty soon. Uh 40 degrees, ah, water temperature, ah, I haven't, I need to get a hold of somebody and find out what temperature is in the lake. Uh, electronics might play a big deal in this. If you're rolling yeah. around a lake and you find a nice little warm, you know, a couple degrees warmer, it might make a big difference in, uh, in what uh, you catch. Uh, what kind of baits you want to throw? Any certain baits you think would work out well? I mean, 
if if it's pre-spawn, I mean, probably crankbaits, jigs, yeah, jerk I baits. I want to be jigging uh, a little bit. I, yeah. I believe uh, plastic worm. I ain't gonna give all the secrets, but I think. I'm, no, I'm not gonna tell any colors. <laughs> like that, I'm definitely gonna be you know, throwing a jig. I think I, I think Ben will be throwing a jig, and a couple, yeah. a couple people might throw those finesse. Parts, we got some though. jiggers in the club. Yeah, that's for sure. We got some jiggers. But you guys stay tuned. We're going to talk a little bit more about who we think might win this thing and uh, what we think it's going to take to win it and maybe who we think is going to lose. So got to be a winner and a loser, right? That's right. <laughs> Something else we want to talk to everybody about today was some of the events we have planned for 2015. Um, something that sets our club um, apart from a lot of other clubs is some of the things that we like to do within the community. Uh, our members really enjoy uh, getting involved and giving back uh, to the communities they live in. And so in 2015, we've, we've really tried to reach out and get involved in the various communities uh, that our members live in as much as we can. And so for this first show, we wanted to outline what some of the things are we already have on a schedule, uh, what they are, when they are, so that you can start marking your calendars because we really need people to volunteer and come out for some of these things. Um, the first thing I'm going to talk about isn't a charitable event. It's a have come out and have fun event. And a lot of things that we do in the club is for our members. Uh, this is for the public. We want as many people to come out and have a good time as absolutely possible. Uh, so on May 1st, we're holding a public float on the new river it's an overnight float and it's going to be a lot of fun and what we're going to do is everyone anyone that wants to come is going to meet at the sandstone put in on the new river and we're going to float down to meadow creek and we're going to camp out for the night a big group of people we're going to get together and we're going to camp out have a good time we're going to fish on the way down there just take our time relax go slow uh, the next day we're going to get up and we're going to float the rest of the way down to Glade Creek and take out there. So it's a two day float. Uh, hopefully we have a large showing for this. Uh, we already have approximately 40 people signed up to come. Half of them aren't even members. So come out with your kids, come out with your wives, your girlfriends, whoever, whoever is going to wants to have a good time. The second event I wanted to talk to you about is scheduled for June 20th. And this is a really important event. Um, it's a joint event with the Ark of the Three Rivers located in Charleston. And what their organization does is they serve clients in the age range of 3 to 80 years old uh, that suffer from a range of disabilities from mild to severe retardation, autism, Down syndrome, things of that nature. And what we've done is we've partnered with them to have a buddy fishing tournament for a day. That's going to be held on Rodner Lake in Nitro. And again, that's on June 20th. And we would like for as many of our members to come out as absolutely possible because uh, we need buddies to fish with the clients. And so we're going to come out for a day, have a fishing tournament. Whoever catches the biggest fish is going to get a trophy. We're going to make all their clients honorary members of the club for 2015. It's just something that it's going to be really important. It's going to mean the world to them. And uh, so anybody can come out, participate. We would really appreciate it. There will be more details posted on this on the Facebook event site as we get closer to the event, but we just want to make you all aware. Last but not least, another very important event we have on the schedule is for July 25th, and that's Brad and them's group on the Elk River um, for the Elk River cleanup. And again, an extremely important event. Um, last year, last year I think was their first year uh, holding this event, and they had 10 people come out. And with 10 volunteers, they were able to pull 300 tires and I think six tons of trash out of the Elk River. That's with 10 volunteers. If we could get 30 or 40 or 50 people to come out this year, I mean, you can imagine what we the impact we could have because, trust me, we worked our butts off last year, but there are still tons of tires and trash located in the stretches of that river. We really need your all's help for that. So again, uh, there will be more information. on Br Brad and them's group have, has a Facebook uh, site set up for this. So there will be more uh, information distributed through there. But again, mark your calendars. May 1st, the New River Public Float. Non-members, members, everyone's welcome. June 20th is the Buddy Fishing Tournament with the Arc of the Three Rivers and Mount State Kayak Anglers. July 25th is the Elk River Cleanup. So come out, put those on your calendars. Can't wait to see you all.
it's time of the show where uh, we make some picks and uh, tell you what we think it's going to take to win this tournament uh, and who we think is going to win and maybe who we think is going to lose. So uh, let's get started here. And uh, that's right, that's right. If uh, if you want your name on on this baby right here, it's going to take a, it's going to, it's going to take quite a bit of work. Uh, I think it's going to really take uh, somebody who's really consistent and somebody who fishes. Fishes consistently slow, maybe a slow fisherman. Cause I'm a I'm a river fisherman. And I just it, it's not in my blood to fish slow. Uh, you are too. So, uh, yeah. uh, what do you think it's going to take to win? Well, uh, like like you said, I mean, I think it's going to take somebody that has some patience and uh, that uh, knows how to fish the right baits based on the environment we're going to be in. And uh, you know, I we're looking at uh, we already have close to. Uh, 50 people signed up to come to this event. So, yeah, know, pretty good payout. That's yeah. going to be a pretty big amount right here. Uh, we might see some pretty big dollars. Um, it's going to be a good payout, and uh, there's some good fishermen coming. So, yeah. there's going to be some people catching limits. I mean, regardless of the water temperature, some people are going to pull in three fish. How many places are we going to be paying? Do you know? We, is it depends on how many show up? No, I think, I think we pay out to the top four. Top four. Um, yeah. Uh, I may be wrong about that, so mm -hmm. but uh, I think top four is going to walk away with some cash, uh, but uh, only one person walks away with uh, first place on this thing. First so. place, all right. So uh, you want to go first? Or you want me to go first? Uh, well, <laughs> what do you want to do? I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. All right. I don't want this person to get the big head well, or anything. Well, yeah. for for we. Before we, before we go into that, we really want to make sure everybody is aware that uh, for every show, we're going to pick a winner of each event, and we're going to say uh, who we think is going to win and why, because like we said, we got a lot of good fishermen uh, and fisher women. Women, women. <laughs> so, and, and actually, it should be noted uh, that uh, Beth Mines won the first tournament of the year last year yes. in the same conditions. It was on cold lake. water. On a lake. On a lake, very it, similar yeah. to this, yeah, so... so. You know, I ain't scared. I ain't we scared. got we have some more female anglers coming out this year, <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be yep. real interesting. But uh, but uh, like so who I, you going I, with? So I, I don't want them to get the big head or anything. They may already have the big head. So uh, but uh, I'm gonna pick Ben. I'm picking Ben. I think Ben Smith's gonna win this one. That's He's, a safe pick, man. He just went. I was safe. You either sucking up or you just went safe. safe. I went safe. <laughs> I went safe. Uh, you know. Uh, he he proved he proved he could fish on some lakes last year, especially yeah. there to, there at the end. He he, he pulled it out. Uh, I think uh, I think he's going to be about thirty eight inches. I think he's going to be about thirty eight inches. Uh, um, may, we'll say I'm picking a little high on that, but I think I think Ben will pull it out. Um, he's going to he he likes his jigs. He he he's going to jig it out. I think uh, Ben's going to Ben Smith's going to win this one. What you uh, think, Glenn? Well, I think it's a I think it's a good safe pick. <laughs> Uh, you know, you got, you got his brother too that, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, he yeah. saw Ben t walk away with that trophy last yeah, year. He's I mean, brotherly love. Yeah. <laughs> he might be ready to come out and get, get things going this year. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, no, uh, I think Ben is a good pick. Uh, my reasoning behind who I picked kind of goes along the same lines as, uh, person showed that they are a good, slow, patient fisherman. And um, so the guy I'm going with to walk away with first place for the first uh, event of the year is, um, and they always say that uh, fishermen should be confident in their own abilities, right? Oh, man. Oh. Isn't that what they say? That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what but, they say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I will go with Byron Pate's name. Oh, Big Byron. Yep. Zombie Bates. Zombie, Zombie Bates. Bates. Zombie Bates. Uh, I think oh. he'll come out representing. Uh, like like I said, I think he has the right type of fishing style uh, to come out in this type of water and do really well. Mm -hmm. um, I think, though, I'm actually shooting a little higher than you. I think it's going to take 45 inches. Wow. Uh, three fish limit uh, to win this. Um, you know, and it could easily go over that. Um, cause there's some oh, there's huge some, fish in here. We, fish we could have a 50, absolutely. 50 inch, uh, uh, three fish limit, but, um, you know, I'm being on the safer side because I think it is going to be tough fishing. So Byron Pate. Byron Pate. Don't oh. let me down, man. Don't let you, oh man. Uh, cause there's some other good, Tommy Covey, Tommy, Drew. Drew, man. Uh, Drew got some picks of some big yeah, fish on that lake. Yeah. And there's, uh, they know how to jig fish. Yeah. And I mean, um, 
Uh, who's home? Home Lake is that? Is it uh, uh, Nathan Reese? Nathan, Nathan, yeah. buddy. We might watch out for Nathan. Nathan a little Reese, bit. He yeah, has some home cooking. So yeah, yeah, he might. Uh, Homeboy, Homer, Homer. That's right. So I hope I catch a fish. I hope, so, I, hope I get I Ben got, Smith. I, ben Ben Smith. I'm going with Ben. Now, I'm not sucking up Ben, but I'm going with Ben Smith, the Prez. The Prez is going to pull this one out just because I think he's consistent on these lakes and uh, he's definitely going to. Catch some fish. All right. Yeah. I'm going Young Gun, Byron Pate. So Byron, Byron, big Byron. We'll so. see how it goes. Everybody got to come out. We're trying to hit, uh, you know, we're trying to get up to 60 people for this event. And, uh, you know, come out, meet all the people in the club. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a good time. I uh, hope everybody shows up. Uh, we got, how many we got signed up already? 50? Close to 50. Close to 50 yeah. people. So, uh, you know you want to get out in the water. Everybody's biting at the bit to get out. So, I know I am. I'm ready to go. I uh, hope the weather holds off. I hope we don't get it. It is not snowing. I hope it's not five, ten feet of snow on the lake. Yeah. So, so, but uh, hope everybody comes out. Have a good time. Hope you enjoyed the show. It's going to get a lot more interesting throughout the year on this show. We're going to be coming from different places, hopefully. Maybe we'll do some on-site shows. Uh, we'll maybe have some people come in and have a show with us and see what they think going to win. Maybe our little guest picker every now and then. But uh but I'm going with Ben. I'm going with Byron. That's right. So we'll see. The first picks of the year. First picks of the year. And uh, we're going to keep track and see who picks them the best throughout the year. So uh, so hope you guys come out and we'll, uh, we'll see you in a few weeks. Peace.